Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are doing some more AP Physics 1 uh, free response questions. And we are looking at harmonic motion. Um, so as usual, I suggest you pause the video, attempt to do the problem, and then come back after you've tried the problem. So we have a pendulum that consists of a small object of mass m fastened to an end of an inextensible cord of length L. Initially, the pendulum is drawn aside through an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical held in horizontal string shown in the diagram above. The string is burned up so the pendulum is swing to and fro. In the space below, draw a force diagram and identify all the forces acting on the object while it's held by the string. So when it's held by the string, nothing's moving. So we have gravity. I have, we'll call it FT1, which is this, um, this string that's holding it up, and then I have this We'll say FT2, which is the force. Let's see, it's 60 degrees with respect to the vertical. So it's like, so this is 60 degrees right here. Determine the tension in the cord before the string is burned. So in this setup, um, we're doing um, some, uh, net forces in the X and Y direction. In the X direction, I have um, FT1 this force to the right has to equal this component of the force to the left, which is FT2. And if this is 60 degrees, it's sine 60 degrees, sine 60 degrees. Sine of 60 degrees is uh, root 3 over 2. Okay. In the y direction, I have force of gravity, which is just equal to mg. And that has to equal the y component of the force ten of tension 2 which would be FT2 cosine 60 degrees. Um, and that's 1 half FT2. Now, let's see. I know I'm given M. It's a mass M. Um, so I can solve for FT... I'm, I'm trying to find FT1. So FT2 from the second equation is equal to 2mg. And I can plug it into here to find... FT1. FT1 is equal to root 3 over 2 FT2. That's root 3 over 2 times 2 mg. That's equal to root 3 mg. Okay, so that's the tension in this rope. Show that the cord strong enough to support the object before the string is burned is also strong enough to support the object as it passes through the bottom of its swing. Um, well, let's calculate what FT2 is. FT2 is 2mg. We already know that. So what we want to know is what is the tension in this cord as it swings through the bottom here. Okay. So as it's going through the bottom, I got to look at the free body diagram. I have mg going down. And I have FT2 going up. Now the net force on this... It's not equal to zero because the acceleration is not zero in this case. In this case, it's making a circular arc path. So its acceleration here is a circular centripetal acceleration. It's equal to m v squared over r. So Ft2 would equal mg plus m v squared, where r is the radius. In this case, they use the letter l. Okay, so I don't know what I don't know how this compares to two mg because I need to know how fast it's swinging down here. Okay, um, to do that, uh, so I, so so this is a partial solution, but I need to solve for v. And the way I do that is after I've cut the string or burned the string, it has potential energy that's converted into kinetic energy. Right. So I to to find the to find the velocity down here, I need to know I can do this setup, mgh is equal to 1 half mv squared. The, all the potential energy up here is converted to kinetic energy. So I have v squared is equal to 2gh. But I need to know what this height is, h, right? That's not given to me. But if this is l and this is 60 degrees, I can draw this shape. Um, this distance here, th th this whole distance here, is L because it's the same string that's swung down here, right? It's a radius L. But I know this portion of it, and if I know this portion, then I can subtract the two. 
This portion is L cosine 60 degrees. Okay. Um, and so that would cosine of root 3 over 2. So this portion is L is um, L times root 3 over 2. So H is L minus L times root 3 over 2. Because this portion here is L root 3 over 2, given by this triangle setup. Okay, and so that means this leftover is just the difference between the two. So uh, now I have a solution for V squared, and I can plug it into here. So this is equal to mg plus m times V squared, which is 2g L minus L root 3 over 2 over L. Um, I can factor an L out of the top. So it's 2LG times 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 over L. The L's cancel here. So this is MG plus 2MG times um, 2 minus root 3 over 2. So I can factor out an mg, and this is equal to 1 plus, uh, the 2's cancel here, 1 plus 2 minus root 3. That's equal to mg times 3 minus root 3. Now, what they said was the string was strong enough to support it at this point. See, and the string is supporting 2mg. So the question is, is 3 minus root 3, if you calculate it, because square root of 3 is bigger than 1, this is... 3 minus root 3, if you do it on your calculator, you'll find it's uh, 1.27. This is about equal to 1.27 mg, which is less than 2 mg. So what we've demonstrated, which is a tricky question, um, is that if the tension could support it at this point, like it didn't break because the tension was supporting 2 mg, when it's down here, it doesn't have to support 2mg, it just has to support 1.27mg. So the string also wouldn't break, it would be able to support that. And so that's the proof. Now the motion of the pendulum after the swing is burned is periodic. It is also simple. Is it also a simple harmonic? Why or why not? This one you have to be careful about. This is not simple harmonic motion. One of the assumptions when we do pendulum, pendulum motion is actually very complicated. Uh, the solution, the general solution, I don't think, I don't even know if there is a general solution, but the general solution is way beyond the scope of AP Physics 1. But when we use like the period and the harmonic motion, the solution it being cosine, that's assuming the angle is about 15 degrees or less. It's a small angle displacement. This is a very large angle displacement. So we can't use some of the assumptions that were made. Um, so like the equations 2 pi square root of L over G. Like the reason that equation works is assuming it's a f fairly small angle, this is a good approximation to, that, to the answer. But it's not the exact answer. And the more you make the angle bigger, um, the further it's the, the assumption, the small angle assumption is, is violated. So um, this is not simple monarch. The angle is too large. That's really the answer. This is too large of an angle to do uh, simple harmonic motion. So um, hope you found that helpful. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.